cap of the wireless microphone. Okay. Oh, she's got the answer for that. Okay. Um, the, for, the, for the formulas, right, this is what's in the data packet. Okay. I think you also need to understand this. Okay. So we'll just do a little thing, your danger, right? You know, this stuff, right? Okay. So omega is 2 pi over t. And the way that works, basically, t is, this, is the time it takes to go through a full cycle. And all of these sine and cosines go through a full cycle when they go through 2 pi radians, correct? Yeah. Right? So that's just the way it works. But it's almost, when they call it angular velocity, it's almost like it's rotating. And last time we went over this whole analogy and all this stuff, and it was brilliant, right? Um, I think also you need to know that frequency is 1 over period. I can't find that in the data packet. You know, is it there? Do you see it? Seems like it should be there, right? More than, here's, here's a funny thing. Aren't these formulas essentially the same formula? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of funny. So how about we take one of those formulas that's the same, and uh, how do I make it bigger? Control plus can do that. Control plus zooms in, is it? It's like, this is the problem with Chrome, right? There you go. Thank you very much. OK. Uh, um, <laughs> you know, like in, in Firefox, there's all those little helpful buttons, right? OK, so um, you, we, I think also it's handy to know that omega is 2 pi f. In your book, if you read your book, your book uses that, right? OK, and then we've got, then we've got this family of formulas that the position is the amplitude times sine omega t, right? And, or, or it's uh, um, x is, right? I'll put a comma there, right? Semicolon, I don't know. Right? X could also be X naught cos omega T. Right? Okay, and then the velocity is uh, the maximum velocity sine omega T, right? Or uh, the, ma the, the velocity is uh, negative maximum velocity sine omega T, right? Oops, one of these has got to be cos, right? Isn't that what it says? Is that what it says? Yeah, there it is, right? And this is because, and we went over this last time, this is, if you take the derivative of cos, you get negative sine, right? If you take the derivative, and, the, and velocity is the derivative of position, the derivative of this, the slope of this, is this, right? And this is something you'll learn in calculus, right? So what you need to know here that's not in the data packet is that x0 is the amplitude, right? And that v0 is the max velocity. I think that's a very handy thing to know, okay? And then the final thing that we did last time was that the velocity at any given point is the plus or minus the omega, and this was what um, uh, Juliana was asking about, right? Uh, plus or minus, and this is x naught squared minus x squared, right? Okay, so then the question is, where does the maximum velocity occur? There's no formula for that. That would have been handy, but it's not there, right? So how do you get the maximum velocity? Well, what is the x, what x, what value of x gives you a maximum v? Zero, at equilibrium, right? In other words, when it reaches equilibrium, it's already sped up as much as it's going to, it's about to slow down, right? That's the way the spring works, right? So you put a zero in for that. If you put zero in for that, then it's just omega times the square root of x naught squared. Isn't that just omega x naught? Yeah. So that's something that you also need to know is that v naught is just omega x naught. Now, the other way you get it, by the way, is that when you take the derivative of this, there's something called the chain rule, which says that you just take this omega, pop it out in front, and this, so you, you, this will actually be x naught omega cos omega t, right? But you don't understand calculus yet. Oh, question? question? Okay. Wow. I thought I was just rambling randomly. Okay. So there that is, and uh, so let's go back to this. How are we doing on this? Juliana's got the answer to it. So this is a two-stepper, isn't it? Don't you have to find omega? Right? The amplitude is x naught is 0.45 and 0.3. Isn't it just this formula right here? Yeah, why don't you see if you can do that? And I'll pass out your tests. And you could peek at the answer. It's at the bottom there. 